Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly forecast. This is your reading for the week ahead, April 18th through the 24th, 2022. For all Leos that may be watching, Leo suns, moons, risings, Leos on the house cusp. If you have your sun in the fifth house or Venus and Leo, you can watch this reading. Please do keep in mind these are general forecasts, so they may not resonate with you specifically. And as I always say, for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, Please do come get a personal private tarot reading with either me or your favorite tarot reader out there. If you would like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, guys, my information is below in the description, including my website and scheduling page. There's also a Groupon link down there. For those of you who want to save up to 50% off my 30-minute live readings, just thought I'd mention that, even though I haven't really mentioned that in the other videos. I don't know why I felt the need to mention that in your video, probably because I've had mm, two glasses of white wine already tonight. Um with dinner, of course. So totally acceptable for your reading today. We are using this Anna K tarot deck here, uh, by Anna K. I don't know the publisher. Um, I don't have the box with me. So if you want more information, you can just Google the Anna K tarot deck, or you might be able to find it on Amazon or at your local bookstore, such as Barnes and Nobles or whatever you, whatever you normally use. Oracle Messages, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle Cards by Claude Baron Reed. This is a Hay House product. 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 Let's see if I can talk. All right. More information on the back here. Cover illustration and design. There's a website there. Cover photo and um, cover design information. Feel free to uh, take a look at that if that interests you. So let's see what's going on for you over this next week, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. April 18th through the 24th spirit. What can you tell us? What can you tell us? What's going on for Leo? April 18th through the 24th. All right, Leo, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups reversed, Pisces. Cherry reverse underneath that. Like that. I definitely pick up Cancerian energy here. You could have Cancerian placements or be dealing with a Cancerian this week. Well, this is an like theme or challenge of your weekly forecast. There could be a lot of unhappiness here. It could be due to a separation. This could have to do with a family situation. Um, I heard there's a loss here. Something's not moving forward here. Something's really stuck. Uh, it could be that you have, um, someone moved away from someone here. That's what I'm getting. Someone's thinking about moving away from someone here. It could be a family member. It could be a marriage. It could be something like that. Um, all right, let's keep going. Leo, how you see yourself today? We have the Four of Swords reverse Libra. So you see yourself as having a tired mind. It could be that you're tired of thinking the same thoughts. Um, it could just be that you need to take a break from your own thoughts, don't we all? Um, It feels to me like the thoughts are focused on one specific thing or you have repetitive thoughts. So it could be that you do need to find an outlet for these thoughts. It could be writing, journaling, it could be talk, talk therapy, it could be something where um, taking your mind off something could be helpful by doing something else. I don't know what that is. These are intuitive messages that I'm getting. So 
What is your theme for the week ahead? The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. Ooh, she's so lovely. Well, some of you are single. I want to say single and not looking. Um, but I feel like you are sort of looking, though. I feel like you want to... Well, she's all, like, dressed up nice. <laughs> I suppose you could be dealing with a Virgo this week, or you could have Virgo placements. I don't know. I feel like you want to have fun. You want to go out. Maybe you are going to get dressed up and go do something on your own this week by yourself. I heard buy yourself something. Yeah. Buy yourself something. Hmm. That's a nice idea. So very independent energy. What's going, what happened in your past here? The Empress. Libra Taurus. Well, in the past here, I feel like someone's losing weight. I don't know. It's like when going from this to this, some of you could be losing weight or there could be something going on here with your mother. This could also be just feeling very abundant here. Some of you, um, I see someone here has a, a garden. I feel like this is going to be a good year for those of you who are tending a garden or have a garden. Oh, you want to know what the lesson was? Well, with the Empress here, it's always about, um, I hate to say it's so trite, abundance, but it's about embodying the energy of the Empress. Oh, there's this really good quote by Deepak Chopra. Um, I have no idea what it is. It's on my Instagram. But that would be like the most perfect quote for this card. Because it's, it really, I found that quote to embody um, the feeling of being an empress. Like it's really is about, it's like a, how do I say it? It's like, it's just a way of being in the world, you know? You don't really worry because you know that the source will provide for you. It's like tapping into that energy, that universal energy that's available to all of us. So your challenge this week is the four of pentacles, Capricorn. Well, someone's being very like closed off here. I feel like someone is shutting down here. Someone is like very protective over their boundaries or someone is like being kind of miserly. I'm not particularly getting that that's you. It could be a Capricorn, of course. I find it interesting in this card that this guy has onlookers, nosy neighbors, but I also feel like it's a strange kind of photo or portrait. It's like, what is this guy doing? He's picking pentacles off the ground. So this could be someone here who I also, the reason why I don't feel like it's your energy is because I feel like you have the Empress here and the Nine of Pentacles or Swords Reverse. I don't know. I feel like there's someone around you that's like, they could be at a lower social status than you, or this could be someone that is very frugal and they just... They are energetically connected to the universal source, whatever, differently. To them, it's like, whereas you might not bend over to pick up a pentacle, this person would definitely bend over to pick up a pentacle. Like if they saw a pentacle on the ground, they'd be like, oh my God, a pentacle. I've got to have this pentacle. You know what I mean? It's like a different way of being. So this could be someone else you're dealing with this week. They might be going through some financial issues. This could be someone that is penny pinching at this time or someone that has to really like save their money for a rainy day. You know, they just can't go out and like buy the like latest pair of shoes or whatever. I'm not saying that's what you do, Leo, but I'm getting like, this is someone that just views money a different in a different way than you do. So what is your lesson you're learning now? The page of pentacles. Mm -hmm. 
This is my, like, I don't know if you've ever played Stardew Valley, but, like, in that game, you can actually go fishing, and this is, like, I usually don't only, if I play that game, it's not very often, but if I do try and go fishing, this is, like, hardly a trying kind of fishing. This is, like, you go to, like, the nearest water, and you cast your, your line, and usually, if you don't go to a good fishing area, you're just going to get trash. So what I get with this is, I don't know, I feel like someone isn't trying very hard. I feel like, uh, I feel like this is like a fishing attempt or someone could be trying fishing you or someone is fishing for some information here. I don't know. I feel like they're not trying very hard. I feel like it's kind of like a weak attempt or something. What is your gift? The high priestess. Yeah, you're using your intuition. I also feel like you're attuned to the cycles of the moon. Um, I also feel like you're in touch with your own cycles. I feel like you're in touch with nature. So that's good. Um, your intuition is on point, Leo. It's on point. It's on point. It's on point. <laughs> I don't know how else I can say it like that, but it is. It is. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, Leo. <laughs> So let's see, what is your guidance for the week ahead? Sorry, I'm a little tipsy. Uh, it's just a good night. It's a, what is it, Thursday night? Friday night? Thursday night. Ooh, Taurus got this card. Oh, shit. The dream walker. Yeah, dreams. The collective good. Illusions. Um, what do I have to say about this card? You're going to be receiving some dreams. And in these dreams, you're going to be given an idea. And one of those ideas that you get in your dreams belongs to the collective conscience, consciousness. Okay. And you're going to be given instructions with what to do with this particular dream. Very important dream. And what I want you to do is I want you to write this dream down. Write the dream down. And I want you to start taking action towards this dream. It's a very important dream. The reason why I want you to write this dream down and take action towards it, and you'll know there'll be certain, it'll be such a vivid dream. It'll be such a profound dream. The reason why I want you to write it down and start taking action towards this dream is because um, the dream was given to you first. It doesn't mean it wasn't given to others but it was given to you first. So if you don't take action on the stream, someone else will. So it's important that you do listen to your intuition, but that's what I'm going to tell you right now. Very important information. The dream walker is basically, you could call it a spirit or a type of Native American spirit here but what they do is they plant these dreams in the collective consciousness or the collective conscious and certain people will receive these dreams and some of them are will receive the same dream message but only if you take action on that dream if you don't take action on it it will be given to someone else do you understand it's very important that you take action on this okay it's not just an illusion. You're going to be like, wait, is it, was that real? Yeah. It can become real. It's up to you, though. So, Leah, that's what I'm going to leave you with today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'll see you guys back soon.